Hansel so hot right now. Hey, what is going on, YouTuber? It is Josh, and today I'm bringing you guys along for my first look at NVIDIA's brand new Ansel technology. We're going to look at what NVIDIA are saying about why they've created this tool and what they hope to enable for consumers of their GPUs by providing this new piece of software. We're going to look at the tool in-game and in-action, look at its features, and see just exactly how this thing works. I will show you guys some of the screenshots and captures I was able to get using this tool and I will share with you some of my computer's struggles while trying to get these captures. And with that being said, we are also going to look at how using this tool impacts your system resources and whether or not it has a negative impact on your game's performance. Finally, we're gonna zoom way in, looking at captures of different resolutions so you guys can see the difference between what this tool provides and your regular everyday screenshots. I will also roll through the list of supported GPUs so you guys can see if you can actually use this product. And other than that, pop in your contacts, go ahead and select 1080p for the best possible experience, and let's do this. So first off, why does this tool exist? Well, NVIDIA have said, and they are not wrong, that there really hasn't been a great way to this point for everyday consumers to get a really high quality, super high resolution, quote unquote, photo while you're in a game. And that may sound strange to some of you, but believe me, you're gonna see what I mean here. Uh, but as it stands today anyway, for a regular consumer to get a super high resolution screen capture in a game, you'd have to go out and buy a four, five, or even an 8K monitor with all the required hardware to run games at that resolution, which is not going to be cheap, obviously, but to get the most epic screenshots possible, that's what you're going to have to do. And even if you did go out and buy all that expensive hardware, you could still only take a quote-unquote regular, you know, native resolution screenshot, which granted at 8K, which is about 33 million pixels, or roughly 16 times the density of 1080p, uh, it's going to be a pretty good looking image, obviously, depending on what quality settings you're able to pull off, of course, while rendering at that resolution. But even so, that is a damn expensive setup for someone trying to just get some good looking screenshots. And you're still going to have to have the heads up display in all of your shots. Um, you're going to, you know, you can't really work with the in game camera once the action stopped and the game is paused to try and get that perfect shot, etc. So it really is just a very expensive and still not a very good way of getting these super high quality in-game screen captures. So um, there are actually, believe it or not, some professional quote unquote game photographers out there. And these are the people that get these insane, just killer looking shots that we'll see in magazines, on billboards, in the movies when they show these games. Um, and they just look awesome. But you gotta understand that these people are normally working with the developer directly and have been given access to a different copy, a different code uh, of the game that enables them to go in there in a heads up free, you know, HUD free environment, uh, use the camera as much as they want on some really high end hardware to push what's possible in the engine and capture these super awesome looking shots. Which, you know, that's all fine and good for a professional who's getting paid and has access to those tools from the developer directly. But what about us lowly folks that just, you know, don't want to have to knock over a bank to buy all that hardware uh, or have that stuff in our way? And we want to immortalize, you know, our greatest gaming moments and have them look as best as possible. Well, NVIDIA says that Ansel is the answer. This tool is supposed to provide everyday nerds the ability to capture super high quality, high resolution in-game shots with high dynamic range, no HUD in your way, a fully free roaming camera while the game is paused, post-process filters, 3D, and even 360 degree shots for viewing and that expensive VR headset you've got, or even on your phone. So let's check this tool out in action, shall we? 
Now, to be as transparent as possible with you guys, as always, this tool is only currently available in two games, one of which is the new Mirror's Edge Catalyst, and the other, obviously, is The Witcher 3. But there is support for a few other games coming soon, and hopefully this picks up Steam, and developers will start letting NVIDIA implement this and other titles, because as you guys can see here pretty soon, some of the results really are amazing. Now, I'm running this tool over The Witcher 3, which will require you to get version 1.24. Uh, if you've got the game on Steam, it should do it automatically. But other than that, you know, go to GOG.com and download the patch, or wherever you can get that patch from, but you will require that version uh, of the game for this tool to work. But as you can see here, uh, there are different filters available. We can select the intensity of these filters and do a custom filter if we want. Um, we can also take the colors from black and white, super saturated, or a more artistic style. Uh, and you know, you could do a lot of this stuff, obviously, with editing software to a regular screenshot after the fact. But that's really not why we're here. You see, you can do a wide range of things with Ansel that you simply could not do before that wasn't possible with any other capturing methods. And again, you know, as far as I know, Ansel is the only in-game capturing tool that lets you capture these in-game moments at insane resolutions, far higher than your native resolution of any monitor you could even buy, uh, using what NVIDIA are calling super resolution. Now, to give you an idea of how long these captures take, uh, before I show you the quality of what you're going to get with these, I'm going to start off with a regular 1x native resolution screenshot here, uh, right from within the tool, which is still an option, which is great. And as you can see, this happens basically instantly, and I'm going to capture shots at 2x, 3x, and then go up to 5x in its increments of 10, 15, 20, and finally I'll do a max resolution capture of 25x, or 64,000 by 36,000 pixels, which is a lot of pixels, 2.304 billion to be precise. And that is going to look really, really good. Remember, 8K is only 33 million pixels. 4K is like 8 million pixels. And again, this is max resolution of 2.3 billion pixels plus. So let's see how this looks in real time. And as you can see, the 2X capture is no problem. It happens very fast, uh, just almost like a screenshot, regular screenshot. The 3X capture takes a little bit longer. 5X is okay. 10x, though not terribly bad, is still pretty long to get a screenshot, but right around 15x is where things really start to fall off and start to slow down considerably, at least on my system. And again, you know, I'm running an Intel Core i7, 6700K, overclocked, a 980Ti, overclocked, 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, a 500 gigabyte Samsung Evo SSD, so these high resolution captures, though now accessible to consumers of many NVIDIA GPUs, may still require some higher end hardware on the CPU and memory side, or just an awful lot of patience, depending on your setup. Here you can see the system just chugging away, rendering this ultra high resolution image and capturing it. And with that being said, let's take a look at how getting these captures impacts your system resources and if that has a negative impact possibly on performance once we get back into the game. We can see our system resource utilization here in MSI Afterburner, and it appears the GPU is actually taking a breather here while getting these captures done. The video memory is not saturated either, and the GPU is just not working very hard. It appears to me that the GPU is really only rendering these small little chunks of area at a time, and although it is rendering these chunks at a much higher resolution than normal, again, it looks to be getting a break overall while this is going on. Keep in mind, this is a 980 Ti, and I'm not 100% sure how this will scale across all compatible GPUs, but if you guys use this on your own with a different GPU or the same, let me know how it works for you and what the impact is on your system. That'd be great. Um, okay, so it does look like our CPU is still working at a moderate level and kind of spiking in utilization during what appears to be image saving points. Uh, at least that's what it looks like to me. 
Um, as you can see, the spikes here get further and further away from one another as we increase the capture resolution and therefore the amount of time it takes before we can actually save those renders to the disk. Just so you guys are aware, this is the kind of impact you can expect to your system uh, when using these super high resolution captures. So fortunately, uh, none of this caused any slowdown whatsoever to in-game performance when hopping back in the game. At least none that I noticed and I did have fraps up. There were no noticeable degradation to performance in terms of frame rate in the game after doing multiple high resolution captures. So that is phenomenal news. The real question is, is all of this time spent rendering, even on a fairly high-end system, really worth it? And the short answer is yes, it is worth it, at least in my opinion. But let's take a look at some screenshot comparisons so you guys can judge for yourself. Maybe I'm crazy. Now, I'm going to go through the different resolutions that we captured here of the same shot, obviously. And I'm going to zoom way in so we can really get an idea of just how detailed or how not detailed these screenshots really are. Starting off with our normal native resolution 1440p screenshot, which is about 6 megabytes by the way, we can see considerable image degradation, jaggies, and flat out ugliness, even if we zoom in just a little bit. Now at 2x and 12 megabytes for a file size, things do look a little better. 3x is about 25 megabytes, things look a little bit better still. And then we start to see some really tangible advantages and improvements to our image quality that higher resolutions are known to provide. At 10x, 15x and above, you can start seeing finer features when zoomed in, such as individual hairs on Geralt's head. We can see his scalp beneath, for God's sake. Uh, and we can even see individual eyelashes at 25x if you zoom in close enough. And it still looks sharp, which is just crazy. So that is pretty awesome, right? Well, it is. The results are glorious in my opinion. But this image turns out to be around a gigabyte in terms of its file size. So hope you guys have some space set aside for that inner photographer in you. But these screen captures really do look great. So we know that Ansel works as intended on systems with a single monitor. But what about those people like myself that play games spanning across multiple monitors? Well, there's good news. They have us covered too. While we are still limited by the 8 gigapixel footprint and therefore you're going to see a lower multiplier available because you have a 3x native horizontal resolution already in place, at least I do with three monitors, these captures that you're going to get are still very high quality indeed and much higher in quality than anything possible before. Now I have also queried the internet and I cannot find a solid answer as to if it's possible to do these captures and use Ansel while you have a VR headset on your head and you're playing the game in VR. But this tool is designed to provide VR friendly screenshots for use on those headsets. So I'm assuming if it'll let you capture, you know, a VR type shot from just a regular screen it will let you capture you know, a regular screenshot in VR as well. If you guys find any information on that, please let me know. But at the end of the day, regardless of this software's shortcomings at the beginning of its life here, such as only having two games that support it, taking even the beefiest of system to its knees during these high resolution captures, and creating these truly massive files from those captures, I really do like this program, and I'm glad that NVIDIA have seen fit to roll this out to the public. I don't think it's necessarily a game changer, something to consider over AMD when you're buying a card, but it is a nice little bonus if you happen to go with Team Green. And I'm hoping to see more developers let them overlay this small little API over their games in the future. I really do enjoy these nice, crispy screenshots. But I sure hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, I will have another video for you guys really soon. Lord knows I have a ton cooking right now. And I've still got to make up for that massive swing and miss with my whole AMD runs Blender on Linux fiasco. So 
any way uh, you guys can count on it and just know that regardless of any errors that I may make I'll never stop trying my best to give you guys the honesty and at least attempted insightfulness and in reporting that I feel we all deserve anyway you guys keep being awesome out there enjoy these days that you get and I'll catch you later peace out So hot right now.